Hello viewers, Chief here. I've got a new symbol for my channel. It's the Math Chief M. So if you see that, it's me. I've been collecting multi-tools for a while now, or pocket EDC tools as they're sometimes called. And this is the first one I ever got. And I saw it in the shop and I thought it looks interesting. I thought I'll get it, so I've used it a little bit. It's quite handy. It's got about 10 or 15 different tools on there and that's what fascinated me. It fits into a wallet quite easily and it's quite useful. It's got the bottle opener, a ruler, little piece there for a compass. It's got different heads here for undoing hexagonal screws. It's got a knife, a saw of sorts, a little section here which I can't remember what it's for. You can use it as a screwdriver and it's quite amazing. So this is the first one which started my collection. And I've got a few hundred different ones, so I thought I'd just run through a few of them today. Somebody might be interested in it. If so, that's terrific. You might start your own collection. With these different multi-tools, you more or less get, in a lot of cases, the same type of functions on the tools, but in many different forms. See, this one's, as what they call it, a multi-tool, is you can use it to undo hexagonal bolts and screws if you need to, or if there's something loose around the home. You can use it as a little screwdriver on the screw here, just put it in the slot and turn it. It also uh, fits in uh, a Phillips head configuration. A straight edge like this is called a Stanley head, and one with a star or a little plus on there is the Phillips head. Some tools have these fittings for both, some don't. This is just a little El Cheapo pocket one and it does the job. We'll just run through a few different ones that I have here. I don't have any set criteria for multi-tools, although multi-tools is one of the primary things I collect. I also collect other little odd things and curios, uh, particularly strainers and, and many-sided dies or dice and different things I see, and I sort of lump them all into the same category. I'll just run through a few for you. Now, I do have a fairly extensive alcohol collection, and one of the drinks I personally like is called Absinthe and it's a fairly strong liqueur and traditionally what you do with absinthe is that you have a glass and this is called an absinthe spoon or a diffuser this is just one of the different type of logo on the top and normally in basic terms you just place this on top of a, a glass or a vessel that you're going to drink from and you place a nice uh, sorry a sugar cube on the top and you just slowly drip the absinthe on top of it or well, just use this little die as a makeshift sugar cube and you just drip your absinthe over the top and slowly diffuses and mixes with the sugar and falls into the glass then you can remove your spoon and enjoy your beverage so it's an absinthe spoon I have a few different ones but they all do the same thing it's just something over the top of the glass and has a few holes for the sugar syrup to drop in I do collect dice or dies if they're singular and not every die has the numbers one to six this one does it's got pretty little colours, it's got a little line underneath so you can tell which one's six. This one goes up in tens and it's many sided. I think it's got, uh, not too sure, one, two, three, four, five, it's got ten sides on there. And this is multiples of ten. I think it uses to play games like Dungeons and Dragons or other types of things. I've got another one here which goes to eight, so it's an eight sided die really. Uh, this one's triangular. Or pyramid shape really and it's got a lot more numbers on that one and this one has many many sides I think this one goes up to 20 as well so you can roll it and get a 19 it's probably useful for games where you've got a lot of squares a lot of moving to do Here's just another version of another die this one goes up to about uh, 14 or 16 I'm not really too sure another one again I just thought they're odd just a little part of my collection here we have some more pocket multi-tools. Here's a smaller version of the original one I got. It's made by a different company, but it's basically the same thing. It's just a little bit smaller. It's probably about 60% uh, of the size of the other one. It just fits into a wallet or a purse. It's easy to carry. Uh, here's another little one you can just slide in your wallet. I've got a few different ones from different brands. They do the same thing. These ones have little sections inside you just pull out. You've got a pair of tweezers there and you've got a little file and a screwdriver bit on the end a little knife edge on there it all just fits in quite nicely it's got a pair of scissors in there as you can see i won't try and pull them out it's got a little light on it but the battery is flat you've got a long 
device here. I'm not too sure what that's for. I suppose it's for making holes or if you want to get your finger into something or push something out. Maybe a SIM card on the phone. That's what that's probably for. It's got a little knife edge in there as well. Again, it's got the ruler on the back. It's just a, a different brand, more or less the same thing. Some have similar types of tools with them, some don't. It's got a little pull-out section here. It's got the Phillips head screwdriver I was talking about earlier. The star screwdriver is a smaller version of a star and a couple of Stanley slots in there. So that just slides in there. They're all very compact. It's got a magnifying glass on this one. I'm not too sure what this bit. Oh, that's the knife bit here. Yeah, that's very sharp. I remember I cut my finger on that one while I was playing with it when I first got it. Uh, here we just have a little mini food kit. It's just something that I carry from time to time. We've got some pair of chopsticks here. You just slide the bits together, make a pair of chopsticks. If you want to go old-fashioned or western, you can have a knife or a fork setting on there. I thought that was quite interesting, so I've got that one there in my collection as well. I really like these little devices here. I've got a small and a large version. They're actually little cups. Let's take the top off. They're stainless steel, so they're very hygienic. You just fold it out. You've got a little cup if you need to take any medication or just one little sip of something. They're good for uh, port if you like to partake in port. It folds down flat. Put the lid on it, stick it on your keychain or in your pocket, wherever it want to go. Can't get the top on this one, but it does fit. This larger version's the same. It just has a larger capacity. Believe me, they are actually waterproof. You have them up like this and you fill them up, they don't leak at all, so they're terrific. And when you rinse them out, you just put it under the tap and leave them upside down. They dry pretty quick. They're not too bad. They come in about three or four sizes. I've got, I think, three small, medium and large, and I mainly just use the small one. So moving on, I've got a little carabiner, which is, I suppose, used a lot for rock climbing and mountaineering and things like that. You just put a little slip on there and then screw it up so it won't come loose. It's got a screwdriver on the end there. It's got a knife if you need it and <laughs> a little makeshift saw and I can tell you that's pretty sharp. I've cut my finger on that one as well. Uh, you could just hook your keys on there and hang it off your key belt or whatever the case is. I've got a few different ones like this. This is just one that I fancy because it's got the knife and little screwdriver bit on there. I don't think you'd have uh, I think you will have a lot of trouble trying to take that through customs if you were to try. You probably wouldn't pass the TSA inspection, but I wouldn't recommend trying to take that one through customs. Here we have another little one. It's, uh, it's actually a mountaineering knife is the way it was marketed, but it's just a short mini knife. It gets a little bit of a knife edge on there and a sharp pointer and a cut. I think uh, yeah, it might be handy just to have something hanging off the backpack if you need to cut something or cut a seat belt or a rope in an emergency or if you haven't got a pocket knife handy that's a little pocket device there. I've got a couple of different tea strainers. This one came with a lid, I don't know why. Uh, I don't usually drink coffee or tea but this sort of fascinated me the types of micro strainers they have. So I thought it's quite handy to slide it in your cup and put your tea leaf or your bag in or whatever you want to infuse and works quite well. I've used this as a strainer before. I'm straining a bit of gravy and other things that we're cooking with, so I've just got a few different versions of that. This one's got a handle on it. These ones don't. It's just something that interested me at the time. Of course, I like to make cocktails as well, and we've just got a little cocktail thing. I think this one's called a mudder. I'm not actually too sure of the name of it, but why I believe it works is when you strain a cocktail on a cocktail shaker, and this is my little stainless steel cup, which I like, I use this one a fair bit. You've got, uh, say, mint leaves and ice cubes and bits and pieces in there, and you don't want it to come out in your drink, you can just put the top there and just strain it, and all the debris gets caught in the little spring there, and then you only just get your liquid come out. So that's quite a genius little device. And then I have this little... I think they call it an aviation wire. It's just like a, a makeshift key ring. What I like about it is you can just push the end together. I've got it backwards. It's a bit silly. Just push the end together and just twist it. And it locks just like a nut and a bolt. And there you have it. And you can put your keys on and off quite easily. Just undo it. I've got many different ones of these, different sizes and length and thicker gauge wires and colours and colour coordinate your things. Well, that's quite interesting. It's handy and I've used it many times and I actually use it with my keys now. So there we go. We've got a little 8-in-1 screwdriver device here. It's got a torch on the end, which is quite interesting. I picked this one up, I think it was in Vietnam or Cambodia. It was about $2 Australian. I thought that's pretty cheap and looked pretty interesting. You just slide it out, it becomes 
a full length screwdriver and it's got eight in one so basically it's half a screwdriver kit in one so it's quite ingenious it's got the stanley bits on the end and and the phillips head so it's got the torch on there it's quite lightweight but it's fairly sturdy in its construction well, that was quite interesting so i picked it up i don't smoke but i do like the smell of cigars and i do have a few, little collection of a few different cigar bits and pieces this is just not related to cigars it's just a little capsule sized or shaped device for storing tablets or matches or whatever you want i thought this is quite interesting again this just fits on the key ring it's totally waterproof it's got a rubber seal on there it's quite handy uh, i've just got a cigar we've got a cigar rack here you just unfold it put your cigar in there if you don't want to hold it i suppose that comes in handy just got three or four different types of uh, cigar tubes just stainless steel just pop your cigar in there and keep it in good condition keep it fresh if you want to go down that track and carry two or three cigars i've got a couple of different types of cigar cutters apparently you're supposed to cut the end of the cigars off to expose the tobacco so you can have a nice draw when you take a puff of them this is just a, a scissors version this is a guillotine version to slide it over your end and go chunk take the end of it off so i thought that was quite interesting I mentioned before I like making cocktails I've just got a little mini cocktail shaker here and it's a nice little size if you only want to have one little small drink and you know you have to drive afterwards it's quite a pretty little thing it's stainless steel it's very hygienic and it was fairly cheap most of the things I buy are, are fairly cheap I buy them from a pretty reputable source from the country they're manufactured in and I don't generally buy anything worth over ten dollars that's my main criteria and it usually has to include postage so most things you can buy are about that price or a bit less and they do include postage i've just got a little stainless steel credit card for holder here i think that's quite ingenious i'm not uh, important enough in the world to have any credit cards but if i did i'd have something like this or maybe gold plated i do like collecting sunglasses as well and here's a a nice little set that I have here. I don't wear these because they're too nice and I'd hate to scratch them or leave them behind. It looks like a bit of a funky shape. It's quite uh, quite a nice little design. It's all stainless steel with metal hinges so that'll last a while. I don't have to worry about breaking those in a hurry. Getting back to my multi-tools, here's another little different type of brand of tool. I'll just move this away so we can have some bit of background in here. Again, it just has some uh, slots there for hexagonal bolts bottle opener on top it comes with little nail price so if you want to pull a nail out that's what this is for just slide the nail head in there and, and lever it up so uh, what do you call it? a little pry bar so there's something there and this is something else i found quite interesting as well it's a uh, sort of a version of a spork with a knife it's got the spoon at one end it's got the fork at the other end and it's got a little knife on the end and a little serrated edge so you can cut your meat you can take it and eat it or you can have your soup with it it's an all-in-one i thought that was quite interesting so i picked that one up i only cost a couple of dollars so it was quite handy i haven't used it and i don't think i would i prefer the old-fashioned knife and fork or chopsticks you know i alternate between the two but this is quite interesting and here we have a few more different types of multi-tools that i have they basically all carry out basic functions and just come in a different configuration i like this one's a little pair of uh, pliers and when you finish with it just fold it up in a really small piece like this you can slide that in your pocket or your purse or your wallet it's quite ingenious just got a uh, four-way chuck for a drill a little tool a uh, little safety whistle here emergency whistle oh, that's quite interesting it's quite loud it's about 150 decibels i've got some different types of money clips here never have any money to put in it but i like click nose here's one for credit cards on one side and money on the other again i never have enough money a couple little keys here key devices or well, actually screwdrivers the phillips and stanley head but they look like keys just hang them off your keychain that's quite interesting we've got some different shapes got a little portable knife there again that probably won't won't pass the uh, customs inspection but it folds up quite small it's very sharp just lift the phone up here and you see there's lots of different shapes we've got some uh, funny shapes here triangular we've got seahorse we've got round most of the multi tools come with bottle openers for some reason that must be the basic standard there's one that just hooks over your key belt 
uh, the end of your your belt or on the edge of your pants this one looks like a key that's got a few different functions on there and most of them seem to have provision for undoing hex or do, undoing or doing up hex hexagonal bolt heads this one that sort of looks like that movie the punisher it's a key shape and that's got about 15 different tools on it but i'll probably never use half the tools that you can use for that device so there's another shelf on my collection i'll grab a few more and here we have the last shelf of one of my cabinets I've got about another four cabinet fulls of multi tools, but they're all very much similar or different, if you know what I mean. Here we just have another version of an, an absinthe infuser, just a different shape. It's basically the same thing. Something you sit over a glass and holes in there to diffuse the sugar cubes is a different version again. It's actually got absinthe on it, but it's not spelt the way you'd normally spell absinthe, but that's just one version. Uh, these little ones came from Denmark and I believe they're something similar that they use in their military there but I'm not sure about that that just might be an urban myth it's just a foldable spoon just slide the end down there it's fairly lightweight and convenient I've got a fork and a knife version so they're all the same thing very compact you can put them in your pocket quite easily and you've got a dining kit there that's what I liked about those this is one of my favorites but I've never used it and I probably wouldn't because if I lost it I wouldn't be too happy it's got a rubber seal on the end. It's actually a pen. And you just unscrew it, screw the end on there, and you've got yourself a pen. Now, I believe when it's closed up like this, you can also use this end to break glass in an emergency, like a car window or a car windshield. It's got a little titanium tip on the end, and you hit it, and you crack the glass, and you can break your way out. That's one of the reasons I've got it. I don't know if you can see the dark discoloration there in the middle. It's a little titanium tip. It's only very light, about 50 or 60 grams, and just sits on your key ring. You can refill these things as well. I've got another stainless steel pen here. I got this from a builder, a friend of mine who makes houses. And it's just got a little ruler on the end and a little mini spirit level. I think it's just a promotional tool that he picked up just to help get his business up and running. These are one of my favourite things. They're called the peanut lighter. I won't open this one, it's sealed, but you just unscrew it, it becomes a little cigarette lighter, you flick the end and you can light your cigarettes or a fire or cigars, whatever you want. You just pull the bottom out and it has a provision on the end to put some fluid in. I like this little one, it's a little knife. You just fold it over, but it looks like a key. Now I brought one of these through customs and it was totally accidental and I forgot all about it and I'm glad I didn't get picked up because I would have had a few dramas, but it's just a knife in the shape of a key and I'm surprised that they allow you to bring these sort of things in the country but as I said I brought it in accidentally and I hope the customs people if they're watching uh, don't give me a knock on the door there's another little multi-tool here it just got three or four different versions and it all folds flat I like the fact that you can spread them out you can pick and choose your tools screwdrivers and little wedges and things in there that's quite interesting I've got a little tomahawk here Again, this is very sharp, and I've used this. It cuts open boxes quite easily. Just interesting. Bottle opener on the end, hexagonal screw bit. You can have other hexagonal screws on the end, little pry bar on the end. This comes with a little chain. It comes with is another little Punisher style tool there. I like this one because you can use it for putting hexagonal bits on the end, different drivers, and it's got little little screwdrivers built in on the outside and they're for uh, Allen keys as well. You can use the ends there and this just gives you a bit of extra purchase if you want to pull the section out. You can put in the changeable bits, they're all universal. universal. And I love this one too, it's a mini pair of scissors and I've cut cardboard boxes with this. This is amazing how sharp these things are. And when you want to fold them flat, you just put the little pin on the end, if you can get it in which is difficult, I had trouble getting it in and out before, but there you go, it's got the little ball on the end, I'll try that later, it just fits flat, got some little calipers here, very tiny ones, and they actually work as well, I don't think I'd ever use them, because I don't do any work that requires that, little pair of tweezers here, and they're super sharp, super pointy, and I've used them before as well, and it's got a very sharp edge, so you could use it as a de facto knife if you wanted to, and these things are all designed to sit on your keychain, and I've just got some different designs of what they call the credit card multi-tools. They all have the same sort of functions on them. There's a round one. It's quite interesting as well. 
And this one, I don't know why you want this in an emergency situation, but I suppose anything's possible. Just drop the camera there. Uh, it's just a set of nail clippers, I suppose. You still got to undertake your daily grooming or periodical grooming. Grooming, so yeah, little pair of nail clippers. But there we go. There's just a few more from one of my shelves.